Hey guys, Keaton here with TechSmart. So what I'm about to show you is a blast from the past. And hi, my name is Keaton and I became a father with the worst dad joke ever. I don't even know what to say. Basically, a company made an iPhone 7 Plus that looks legit like this Mac Classic. You see that Rainbow Apple logo right there? Let's check it out. It's retro. So you guys, this right here is one of the world's first retro iPhone 7 Pluses. This company called Colorware, they modify phones, they can make it any color you want, and they just happen to do a limited run of retro iPhones. They did this last year and it looked super lit, so I'm happy I picked one up. I gotta tell you guys now, if you wanna check this out, link's down below, but it's $1,900. No joke. And it's supposed to look like a retro computer, like something you see here. This is the Mac Classic. Drop a like in this video if you guys have ever used like a big Apple computer. Like I used those big blue ones in elementary school. And actually one of you guys sent me the Mac Classic here. His name's Brian, he's an awesome dude. Thank you so much, Brian, because you can actually see what this iPhone is supposed to be modeled after. If you were one of the first 25 people to buy this retro iPhone, which we haven't even seen yet. I didn't even know what I was buying. I just saw a picture of it and I clicked buy. You actually got a number engraved on here, like one out of 25 or whatever. And that's honestly the only reason I bought this. I thought this was gonna be like a limited edition product. For 1900 bucks, like you think this would be a limited edition product, like not many people would buy this, but they're still selling it on their website. You just won't get a number. So. You judge me here, I, I feel kind of stupid because I thought I was only gonna have one of 25 phones in the world that exist. Apparently not. If you're one of the 25 people that have a number on it, just hit me up on Twitter, I'm just at TechSmart. We should get a group chat going, you know, say what's good. But let's go ahead and open up this phone. So you can see it's just a standard sealed iPhone 7 Plus box. You know, nothing too special. You don't see any retro designs. If they made a retro box, that would have been really cool. So on the back, this is how you know it is a retro iPhone or a colorwear product because it says colorwear on the back. So let's just go ahead and open this up. I got my knife right here. Cut that open. Cool. And right here. Sweet. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Just kidding. It's. I'm not ready. It's the top. It's it's the paperwork box. It's. The, such a tease, such a tease. I'm gonna open this up. I'm not even looking at it, I haven't seen it yet. Do we get any fun stickers or anything that's re like retro Apple stickers would have been super sick. Oh wow, this is it. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna go through the box before I even look at the phone. Okay, I, I know all that. I, I bought iPhones before. We are not an unboxing channel though. Not an unboxing channel. For 1900 bucks, I didn't get a retro cube. I would have loved a retro looking like adapter. That would have just been funny. No retro looking headphones, no cable. Not gonna lie, a little disappointed. But here it is. Here is what you've all been waiting for. This is the retro iPhone. You can see on the sides right here before I even flip it over. I haven't even seen it flipped over yet. You can see like they got these etchings on here. Is that etching? Oh, okay, we just got, oh my God, no way. No way. Oh wow, that is, that, what? Oh, Matt, come over here right now, dude. Holy oh. Look at that, look at that, that is, that's like a decal. Wow. Is that, no, is that a decal? Or, that's, that's like some 3D prison right there. Like that is not just metal, like you can feel that's rich. Like look at that. Number three. Oh my God. It's your standard iPhone 7 Plus, you know, 256 gigs. And it's the matte one, so you know it looks awesome. Wow, this just looks crazy. I guess I'm the third person to spend almost $2,000 on an iPhone that looks like it's from the 90s. That's always good to know. I was the third person to make that decision, so. Wow. That would have been so sick if they could have like jailbroken this or something. I know one doesn't exist right now, but I would have just loved to have seen like a retro logo power on and stuff. So let me know in the comments right now what you think looks cooler. The retro iPhone, which looks awesome, or the red iPhone that I made. I'm gonna say the retro. Like, comparing it to the Mac Classic here, seriously, Brian, thank you so much for sending this. I don't know how I would've gotten one of these. Like, just look at it. You can see the logo here and just like how similar it is to the Macintosh Classic. So I'm getting choked up here. I don't have words. That is so similar. Look at the colors, like they even got the color right. Obviously, they're called color wear, but of course they got it right. And you're probably asking yourself, Keaton, does this iPhone do anything else different? No, it it doesn't. It's 
legit the exact same iPhone 7 Plus as the one I have here. Just, I didn't pay $1,900 for that one. Just this one. So did 25 other people. Since this iPhone was originally like a matte colored iPhone, I don't know about you, but this is gonna get hella dirty, hella fast. I think this is gonna show scratches so much and it's gonna look honestly like a computer from the 90s and just look dirty and stuff I don't really know only time will tell so here's the question I'm asking myself and I want to know if you guys want this so when you buy an iPhone 7 or 7 plus from Apple brand new it's waterproof but the way they like paint these phones and like make it so this doesn't scratch off oh my god did I just scratch it there mm. I just scratched it there. The way they make these phones, they have to take it apart. So is this phone still waterproof? I don't know. Drop a like on this video. If we hit 50,000 likes, I'll post a video on Twitter at TechSmart of me submerging this in water, letting it sit, and just answering the question, is an iPhone from the 1990s waterproof, fam? So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the world's first retro iPhone. It legit looks like it came from the 1990s. Thanks so much, Juliexa and Tyler, for being this video's notification shout out. If you guys want one, turn on my YouTube notifications and then just comment down below saying you've done it. Get subscribed to my channel for more awesome stuff like this. Like, this is just the start. And tweet me at TechSmart if you guys find any other weird gadgets. My red iPhone, not cool anymore. This is it. Bye. For those that wanted to know, I did get food poisoning yesterday, but I'm going to Coachella right now. I'm so excited. Ah, oh my God, it's happening. Woo, woo.